Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Insight. Finally. Today we're talking about a couple different grips for the ukulele and how you can use them to improve your chord shapes. First thing we want to start with is the grip that everybody should know how to do, and the one you should start with, the open grip. Take your left hand, drop it by your side, and then just lift it up like you're going to shake somebody's hand. That shape is how you want your hand to be, but this time it goes underneath the uke right here. If you look at my left hand here, it can move freely up and down the neck, just touching along that support point there. A lot of times when people are thinking left hand with the ukulele, they're thinking more like classical guitar technique. So the thumb goes on the back of the neck here, and then you press down on the frets with the tips of your fingers. Now this negative space really isn't a problem as long as you got pressure between your fingertips and your thumb, but as soon as you release it, like say I'm moving from an F to an E minor chord, then what happens is, the, I'm gonna quickly take off my strap here. Now this grip is a little problematic because what's holding the neck up is the pressure between my fingertips and my thumb pressing on the back. Now what ends up happening is, is that you can learn most of your chord shapes holding the ukulele like this. It's really when you make your first jump, like say to an E minor chord, as soon as I release the pressure, then the headstock can fall right there, right? If I'm holding it up and then suddenly I try to switch positions and I don't have pressure on the front, the ukulele on the neck drops. Now what we're trying to do in the beginning is establish muscle memory. So remember, if that headstock is moving up and down, then it's like trying to hit a moving target, right? It makes it a lot more difficult to memorize my chord shapes. All right, let's talk about the second grip we need to know, the bar grip or the bar a grip or the ba -he grip. First thing you'll notice about the bar grip here is you can't see my thumb. When I'm in the open grip, my thumb sticks out like a little bit of a flag here, back of the neck against the stem of my thumb. And then when I switch into this bar grip, my thumb kind of disappears behind the neck because I'm changing my contact point. There it is. Heel of the thumb against the neck. And another thing you can think about is turning your thumb a little bit more parallel with the neck of the ukulele. With the bar grip, we get a little bit more power so we can actually get those fingers to hold down more than one string. Oh, let's stop and give a quick definition. A bar is when you fret multiple strings with one finger. So the bar grip gives us a little bit more strength, a little bit more oomph to be able to bar down, but more importantly, it gives us a little bit better positioning. Now watch the way my fingertips move a little bit closer to the fretboard as I slide my thumb back and I make a new contact point on the heel of my thumb. So now what happens is, is when I bend my finger here, it makes more of a 90 degree angle, which is the angle we need if we want to fret multiple strings with one finger. All right, let's move to some exercises. What we're really trying to get is some fluidity moving between these two grips. We're gonna start out with this chord. Three, two, one, and open. Open on the A string. A B flat major seven chord. And then what we're gonna do is try and switch to our bar grip and take our pointer finger down. Now, what I'm really looking for here is that little hyper extended move with this knuckle here. So there's your exercise, move in between B flat major seven into B flat. Try whole notes. One, two, ready, B flat. And here. And B flat and here one more time and finish here all right if you're having a really hard time with that chord you can always subtract a few fingers because really what we're trying to focus on is just the pointer finger all right so we can take our B flat chord here we can lift the ring finger make that chord a little bit easier to hold and then we can also lift the middle finger and then we're really focusing on just the important part which is the bar on the first fret so here's our exercise open A string to first fret on the A string. There you go. Open grips, bar grips, a couple of things that we should work on with our left hand technique. I'm John Nash. If you want to find out more about what I'm doing with uke, be sure to check out ukuleleinspired.com.